Good morning, everyone. Well, this week is going to start an interesting week for me. Um, for one week straight, I need to record my morning blood sugars and uh, give that to the doctor. I am on 500 milligram of metformin. And I'm hoping that after one week of blood sugars, that we can try from the doctor's uh, suggestion, a three week series of no metformin to compare my sugars. And uh, his thought process on that is that if we can stay within 20 points of whatever my baseline is for this week, then I'll be able to stay off metformin. If I don't make it, I won't be upset because heck, I've come a long way of all the medicines I was on and where I was at and where I'm at now. So today is day one. This morning, my blood sugar was 164. That's actually much higher than normal. I'm averaging in the 140 range. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why. I slept decent last night and everything. This morning, I'm going to uh, make a little bit of breakfast. Stacy uh, has left the chaffle bowl maker out. So I cleaned it up this morning and I'm going to make a breakfast chaffle bowl. I'm going to use eggs and sharp cheddar cheese and then some scrambled eggs and some bacon bits in it. So that'll be my little breakfast this morning. And I figured I'd hang out with you guys as we do it. Okay, I have our dual waffle chaffle bowl maker warming up. And I'm going to prepare one egg in a bowl. And then, excuse me while I throw that away, put my little eggies away. Love these little containers. They're fantastic. We buy these on Amazon. I think they're in three packs. And uh, what ends up happening is we buy the big two to five uh, dozen eggs at Costco. And when we bring them home, that thing is huge. It's very flimsy. And Stacy has dropped eggs more than once. So when I got these, they, they stack really nice. You can put them in the refrigerator to take up less space. Awesome little egg holders. So we've got an egg in there and we grab us a fork and this is my heaping one-third cup of cheese it's actually all the sharp cheese that we have left so let me take a look in there okay i wanted to make sure i didn't get any shells in there because you know stuff happens and then i'm just going to mix that up this is going to be my chaffle bowl base for my breakfast today yeah, I'm excited about that whole thing with the sugars and potential of getting off of my metformin uh, that I was on 2,000 milligram of. I'm on 500 now, and uh, gosh, I was able to get rid of the insulin. I was able to get rid of all the other medicines, Genuvia and Glimpyride and Amaryl and uh, Gabapentin, and gosh, I was able to get rid of all that. The last one is that metformin. So... If I could get rid of it, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Now, I've got some avocado oil spray here. This is, uh, we buy this at Costco. And I was just going to lightly coat my little bowls just to kind of help nothing to stick. Um, I don't even know that it's necessary, to be honest with you. Try and get this in equally half and half. We'll see. One's going to be bigger than the other. You know how that goes. That's what she said. Anyway. Okay, so we got it in there, I'm going to close it up gently, and it's probably going to seep all over, that's why I got this mat down anyway. So, now I'm going to set a timer. Timer for four minutes. And while that is cooking on the four minutes, I'm going to go over and make some eggs. Does anyone else have a favorite spatula? I do. You know, I have all these really nice Calfon spatulas and everything, but the one I like the most, don't laugh, this is from the dollar store, and I'll tell you what, if I lost this, I would cry. I would probably just go back and buy 10 more, because I, I just, something about this particular one, it's the shape and the size and the way and the angle, and it's perfect. So, you know, sometimes it's the cheaper stuff that works best for me. So since I have one egg in my chaffle bowls, and the timer's going on that right now, I'm going to scramble up two eggs here to make scrambled eggs. And 
I am going to wash my hands because I just made a mess. You know, things happen. I'm using Kerrygold butter, of course. Can I get a little sliver of this with my spatula? Pop that in the bowl, in the pan. Come on now. Get a little bit of that in there. Let that warm up. Get a fork. Mix up my eggies. Yum, 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 yum. I like to put my salt and pepper into the egg before I put it in. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys do this too. Let me know in the comments. Same with the spatula. You got a favorite spatula or am I just crazy? I don't think Stacy cares. She'll use whatever we got. All right, Carrie Gold, do your job. I am one minute and 40 seconds away from my bowls being done. And that's about, gosh, it's probably going to be pretty close to when these eggs are going to be ready. Pop those in there. Yum, yum, yum. Delicioso. Yeah, so today I've got to uh, work on shirts. I have a batch of shirts to make. I have 12 shirts for one company and a couple for a friend. And uh, yeah, that'll keep me busy. I've also got some web updates to do. Um, working on websites for other people, obviously. Got my little coffee this morning. Can't go, can't go without that. Ah, so... Um, like I said, I'm nervous about this whole, uh, sugar thing and, uh, getting off of the metformin. Doctor keeps telling me it's not a failure if you end up, uh, not making it. If the sugar goes higher and we have to go back to metformin, he says, you know, just look where you came in all that time, how far you've come and, uh, you know, just keep moving forward and progressing. So that's what I'm going to try my best to do. And there goes my timer for my chaffle bowls. So I'm going to release the lid on those and let those start cooling down. And mix these eggs up a little bit. Yeah, so this is going to be a nice little breakfast. Little scrambled eggs in the chaffle bowl of egg and cheese. And I'm going to add just a pinch of bacon bits to this, I think. I think that'll just really top it off make for a really nice breakfast. So all together I'll have three eggs today. Uh, I don't know how much bacon bits, just a pinch in there. And then a uh, third cup of sharp cheddar cheese, which will be in the, in the bowls themselves. This is almost ready. Yum, yum, yum. These guys over here are done. So let's grab a fork. Pull them out. Yeah, nothing here super fancy. Just uh, it's just called utilitarian breakfast. <laughs> it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. So there's my bowls. What do you think? This is what Stacy was doing on the video the other day. She kept just taking the pieces off and eating them. And you know what? That's okay too. My scrambled eggs over here are almost done. Get those into the bowl. Get those into the bowls. Doo -doo -doo. I'm amazed I am not dropping this stuff. Because you know that's how it always works. When you make it alone or like when you're going to throw something in the garbage. Across the room, bam, you nail it. When you're alone, of course. And then when somebody's there and you're like, hey, I just did this yesterday, watch. And then, yeah, you totally flub it up. So there's that. And I... I'm going to add to that a little bit of baking caramel, just for fun, just a pinch. Okay, maybe more than a pinch, maybe a pinch and a half. But for me, that works. Gotta wash my hands because I don't like the feel of that. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but yeah. Kind of weird like that. All right, now this, is going to be my breakfast today. Yum, 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 yum. Just some scrambled eggs, a little bit of bacon crumbles, and my sharp cheddar cheese and egg chaffle bowl 
with our little truffle bowl maker. So now that I've made my breakfast, which will be my yummy chaffle bowls with uh, egg and bacon crumbles, I'm going to sit down, enjoy my coffee and my breakfast, and then I'm gonna head downstairs and start making some t-shirts. Um, like I said, this whole experiment will be this week of just doing um, the sugars with 500 metformin. Next week, Monday, I will start the no metformin and continue to monitor the sugars for three weeks. So if you want to follow me on that, on uh, I'll try and do this on Mondays and just get these out as to where I'm at for the week. I'm hoping by next Monday my baseline for this week will be lower than the 164 that I had this morning. I have no idea what's going on with all that. But, you know, you got to record what you got to record, and I'm doing it honest. So uh, that's where I'm at today. Uh, we'll see where I end up on Monday. And... Uh, Hope everybody has a great week. We'll see you all soon. Bye.